Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a July favourites. So these are all the things that I have been loving in the month of July. We have got such a random mix. I have to admit it's some of these things you're going to be like what the heck. But it is all the things that I've been loving in the month of July so I just thought I would show you exactly what I am loving. So first off in the cleaning department has to be these method sprays. Um, I have heard a lot of good reviews about them. Anytime I've seen them in stores, they've been quite expensive and I didn't I couldn't really justify paying the price of them. However, when I was in Tesco two weeks ago, I think, they had three on for six pounds, which means they would be two pounds each. And at normal price they are three pounds each. So I did save obviously a pound and I got all the anti-back ones, so I got the Me Method Anti-Back All-Purpose Cleaner. This is the Wild Rhubarb. This yellow one is Anti-Back Kitchen Spray and it's in Sunny Citrus. And I got the Anti-Back Bathroom Cleaner, which is Water Mint. And I have to say, I am totally converted. I absolutely love them. I would probably say the Wild Rhubarb is my favourite so far. Um, I wasn't too sure on how much I would love this because I'm not a massive like rhubarb fan. I don't really see like the interest in it. But it just doesn't smell anything like rhubarb in my opinion. But it is very, very fresh and florally and it just smells really, really clean. And the same for the other two. This is obviously kitchen and bathroom but I think you could use them anywhere they're all antibacterial they all smell absolutely amazing the mint one is especially nice for the bathroom again I just think it's really nice and fresh and I don't know I just I love them I love them so I am completely converted and now that I know I probably would pay three pounds for a bottle of it Um, it's just yeah it's really, really nice. It's natural. It's 99.9% .9 kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria. No chemicals. And yeah, it's just safe on all surfaces. And especially for if you've got any kids or babies at home, you know you can use them and they are not going to cause any harm to them. So I would definitely recommend them. The three flavours or scents that I've got here are absolutely phenomenal. So yeah, I am loving those. The next random item I have is this apple cutter. I used this from one of the girls at work the other day. I love apples, but I just hate cutting them up and I cannot eat them like as a whole because they hurt my teeth quite a lot or like my gums more like. Um, but this is an amazing contraption. I cannot believe I've never known that this exists. So basically you just stick your whole apple there with the core there and you press down and it will slice your apple basically like that. And then when you lift that up you've obviously got your apple slices on there and it's just it's absolutely amazing. So this is this is from IKEA and I actually picked two up the other day when I was there, one to keep at home and one to take to work with me. So if I am feeling lazy on those days, I know that I have that in my drawer and I can just take that out, cut my apple and sit at my desk, quite happy eating it. So yeah, I was loving them. Next kind of random item I have is my Hydrate Mate. So I bought this, I think it was last year, maybe even longer than that, I can't really remember. Um, they are 20 pounds. From Hydrate Mate, but you can get cheap alternatives in Home Bargains, I believe. My mum's got one. And I just really like them because it tells you the different times down there and then when to refill. Because I started back at Summer World, I am trying to keep up my fluids. And yeah, I'm just really enjoying using this again. So I am trying to drink at least three of these a day, minimum. But yeah, I really, really like that. And I have started using it a lot lately, so... But I would include that. Next item I want to show you is this little lip gloss or PS liquid lipstick. 
and it is from Primark. You will have seen it if you've watched my last Primark haul. It is the one I'm wearing at the moment. It's not a colour I would normally go for, however, I just thought I would try something different, try going for like a bright colour and I got so many different compliments on it. So yeah, I just absolutely love it. Again, like I said, it's not a colour I would usually go for. It's quite bright and bright, vibrant, which I only normally stick to like the kind of nude colours, but I'm really, really enjoying it. So I think it just kind of, you don't really have to do a lot to your face. You just need to stick this on and it keeps everybody away from staring at all the bad patches. So yeah, I absolutely love this. And for anybody asking, I can confirm it stays on all day. Um, it's probably the only lipstick I've ever had that stays on all day. It is magnificent. So if you haven't got it already and you were thinking about getting it, I think it comes in like a pack of four. It's totally, totally worth it. If I could get this on its own again, I would definitely get it. But yeah, loving that one. Next item I'm loving is the Revolution Eyebrow Tattoo. And it is in the shade Medium Brown. And it just looks like this. So I know a lot of people are loving the Maybelline one, but I believe that is £12 and this one is only 4 no I lie, it's 5 sorry, it's £5. Um, but there is a big price difference in it and I think it just does the same thing. The only thing I think is different is the tip of the brush. I think the Maybelline is like an angled one and this is just kind of plain, but I have had no issues with it so far. I done my eyebrows last night, so I don't actually have any product on this whatsoever apart from the tattoo brow and yeah, I just absolutely love it. It's so easy. All I do is, as soon as I come out of the shower, pop this on at the shape that you want it to be, leave it to dry for a couple of hours the darker you want it and then peel it off when you're ready to go to bed or before you go out or something like that. But yeah, definitely, definitely recommend that. Again, I, like I said, I know a lot of people rave about the Maybelline one, but I haven't tried that, so it's hard for me to kind of judge like from both. But I would definitely recommend this one, especially for £5. It's just fantastic. The next thing is this perfume, which is Roberto Cavalli. And I actually got this in the perfume shop when I was shopping for a Father's Day present. And it just looks like that. Again, I think this has been out for quite a while. I think I was like the last in the bandwagon, but it smells phenomenal, like so, so nice. And it was on sale. It was on sale at the perfume shop for 22 pounds, I think. Um, and because I had received like a gift voucher on top of my card and stuff, I got it for 12 pounds. So yeah, but I really, really like it. And it's something that I would probably go back to. Again, if you haven't smelt it, I would definitely recommend it. It's so nice. It's kind of like a... It's not overly fruity. It's just, it's just really nice. You need to go and smell it. It's really nice. <laughs> and the next item is something quite random. So if you're a guy, you might want to look away now. But it is this Duchess cup. It is a menstrual cup. Um, it just comes in this little bag. If you want to know more about this then hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and you will get notifications because I've actually done a full review on this which is due to go up next week. So if you want to know more about what it does and how it works kind of thing, um, yeah, not to go into drastic detail but it is basically an al alternative to tampons and sanitary towels and um, there's not much more else to say about it but I love it. I have now used it for a second cycle and I just cannot recommend it enough. Um, again, like I said, if you want to watch more detail on it, you will be able to do so in the video upcoming. But it just comes in this little pouch and yeah, I am in love with it. Definitely recommend that. And then last but not least, I am obsessed with these dupes of Birkenstocks. They are just from Primark. I think they were £6. They've just got a kind of, they're quite dirty, so apologies. But a kind of snake skin effect with gold buckles on them and I just absolutely love them. I got them in like a gold colour and I've seen these 
I've been desperate for a black pair for ages but I couldn't ever track them down and I managed to pick these up. I absolutely love them. They go with so much. It just doesn't matter what you're looking for. They just go because they're a general black colour and yeah, I'm in love with them and I had said on my previous Primark haul that I didn't know if I could justify paying the real price for Birkenstocks but I have to admit the amount that I wear these I definitely will look into investing in a pair of Birkenstocks possibly like in next year um, I just seem to be wearing them all the time and I absolutely love them so yeah I think I will be investing in a pair of them especially if they're going to last me longer as well but I haven't had any faults with these they, they've been phenomenal for £6 so I can't complain on that front so that is it for this month's favourites. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Like I said, if you want to know of any upcoming videos, please hit the subscribe button somewhere down below. Hit the subscribe button down below on the screen and you will get notifications on any new videos coming live. And yeah, please also give this video a big thumbs up. I hope you've enjoyed it and I will see you all later. Bye!